What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about three upcoming NFT projects that I'm bullish on. Um, and somebody please help me with my camera because these this camera quality is just no good. I got like a $2,000 camera and it still comes out shitty. I don't know if it's the lighting. I don't know if it's the camera. I don't know if it's the wire plugged into the freaking computer streaming, whatever it is. But somebody help me out so we can make higher quality videos for you. But none of that matters because we're talking about JPEGs and some projects that are going to be good. I think they're going to be good. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Um, so if you see this project right here, it's called Possessed NFT. This one's coming out soon. We don't really have any information on it. Um, there's no Discord yet. So you're early to the project. That's the step number one is always be early in the NFT space. So. This one I think is gonna be good, and if you're looking at it, you're probably like, oh wait, I might have seen that before, yeah. Because it looks like the three landers, all right? Let me pull up three landers real quick on my other screen right here. But these things have absolutely went insane. I think their mint price was like 0 0.05. Um, and look, they kind of look similar, right? If you look at the one that has the bot trait, kind of looks similar to these guys. But these are different because they're like animated right they they turn into possessed um creatures <laughs> so it goes from a normal guy ready a normal guy into a possessed guy so pretty cool i guess these are going to be like gifts um when you're looking at them on OpenSea, they'll probably be animated like that but with the three landers and this kind of art theme going crazy these are just profile picture nfts there's no real utility behind them but they look so damn cool and it's a cool vibe um, that they're going crazy. The floor price went up to like 1 point or 2.4 or something like that, 2.8. Now it's back down to 1.5 because obviously we have Ethereum ripping. There goes my phone. <laughs> um, but yeah, what do you call it? Three landers have absolutely gone crazy. It's just a cool vibe, great art, and the community loves them. They're dope profile pictures. Um, so the possessed is going to be a good one. I think pretty sure it's going to be a good project. Definitely bullish on it and, uh, can't wait to find out some more details on it because we don't know shit yet. Nothing has been announced. All we have is a Twitter and there's a lot of damn followers, a lot of engagement on these tweets. So definitely keep an eye out on this project and, uh, you know, they're not currently minting. So anything that you see out there is fake. Okay, they don't even have a Discord yet, so all their announcements are going to be on Twitter right here for you. And their Twitter is, I'll link it down below the video, uh, Possessed, okay? Psst. <laughs> uh, so next project, what do we got? That's number one. Definitely keep an eye on this one or turn these alerts on if you want. I'll just be tuning into their Twitter until we get some more information about a Discord or whatever. But definitely cool freaking art right here i could see these going crazy like the three landers did right um i actually have one of these too it's my profile picture now on twitter but yeah i think they'll follow their their footsteps if this art could go crazy imagine it being animated um so yeah that is the first one possessed all right so the next one is coming out we have a date on this one it's coming out on sunday it's called let's walk all right so this is a tweet from one of the founders. He's a 3D uh, animation guy. And these kind of are like invisible friends, but not really because they're not invisible. Um, you can see the first one is probably made for like a collab with invisible friends, right? But with those going crazy, there's obviously going to be a bunch of derivative projects. I think this one is going to be one of them that actually catches some traction because of this guy who founded the project, um, DK, he's a very well-known uh, animator. He's, you can see right here on his pinned tweet, 10 years of animation. So he's been animating for a while and now he's creating NFTs, which honestly, they look sick. Um, I like them and they're getting a lot of traction. Okay, so definitely uh, follow his Twitter and also there's a website where they're, they're doing the drop on Sunday, okay? So the drop on Sunday is gonna be 
part of their round eight, I believe. So he's dropping shit in different rounds. Um, so definitely uh, take a look at that. And maybe you could jump in their Discord, see what's going on. So yeah, DK Verse. All right. So definitely keep an eye on that. Um, here's the website, DK dkquan.com slash let's walk um, and you can see round eight is going to be dropped on sunday march 6th okay so get in the discord uh to stay updated on their announcements and yeah you can see on this website it's got some more information for you so these are the current ones that are out there so far 63 out of 100 um definitely going to be a limited project we got the little matrix guy we got a zelda Power Rangers, Michael Jordan, Cowboy, Buzz. So a lot of dope shit in here. Santa Claus, fucking army guy, Mario. Yeah, so we got some cool shit. Um, and I think these are going to be crazy. So definitely, if you can, try and get one of these. Um, they're going to be like 0.3 to 0.7, depending on which round you get in. So yeah, just keep, keep uh, an eye on that. Every Sunday, he drops them on OpenSea, and they'll be like 0.3 to 0.7. So definitely going to be hard to get, but if you could do it, you know, the value's there. Um, this one's actually pretty funny. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's project number two, Let's Walk. Definitely very hyped up, probably harder to get because it's um, very limited, but we're still... Kind of early on that one, but there's a lot of people that are going to be looking to mint that one. The next project I have is definitely early, and there's not much um, news about it yet besides Twitter. It's called Humankind, right? So this one's interesting because it's black and white. We don't really see a lot of black and white projects unless it's like photography. So it's going to be interesting to see how this does, but the reason I'm bullish on Humankind is because of the founder all right so the project's actually got a lot of followers so far um you can see good engagement on the tweets this is kind of a sneak peek of what's going to be going on so you got that thick line meta um, a lot of people a lot of projects have the thick lines they're going crazy right now because a lot of people like them they're cool profile pictures but this one's different because it's black and white and this is by pablo stanley so this guy is a boss okay so he created a lot of shit in the web3 space already so whenever i see a founder that already has experience in web3 and nft space in the crypto space that just makes me more bullish because it's not just a new guy you know a kid getting into the space and creating a project and potentially rugging people no this guy is verified he's got you know he's stamped in the in the web3 space because of the projects he's built now, I'm not just talking out of my ass. You could go check for yourself. Pablo Stanley on Twitter, CEO of Bueno NFT. So basically, this is a tool where you could go and create, you could go and create um, NFTs. So instead of having to code and you know have an artist code different traits and stuff, you could literally use this tool that he built, Bueno.art, and it'll help you create 10K collections in seconds. All right, so this is kind of like a preview. You could create your own traits, create your own colors, create your own anything. You're in control of what you need to do. And this uh, website that he built will help you create um, with all of your traits that you come up with. It'll help you generate 10,000 NFTs in a collection. So definitely cool shit. Definitely makes creating NFTs a lot easier for people that don't know how to code and don't know or don't have the money to go hire a coder and artist and all that stuff. So that's a crazy project alone that um, this guy's come up with, right? So he actually has another NFT. He created Robo Robotos, Robotos. <laughs> wow, that came out crazy. Robotos. Um, and this is, these already sold out. I believe they're on OpenSea. Let's check it out. Yeah, so there's actually a couple collections from this one alone. There's uh, the Robotos, and then, then there's the Robo Pets. So this one, 10,000 collection, and the floor price is 0.7. That's kind of blue chip, um, in my opinion. 
right? There's a 10,000 of them and the floor price is that high. So these are solid. This guy's already sold out of collection and maintain a high floor price and tons of volume traded. So imagine what his next collection is gonna do. And the next collection is different because black and white, you don't really see a lot. People like these colors or this is what we're seeing right now, all these colors and colorful 3D shit, uh, stuff moving around. So it's gonna be interesting to see, but I'm sure that the project is gonna do very well. And it's so early right now that we actually have a chance to get on a whitelist if um, he actually puts out a whitelist. We obviously don't know shit right now. So it'll just be interesting to see how it plays out, but definitely I'm gonna try and mint this. Based off the fact that he's a well-known uh, Web3 like developer, creator, whatever you wanna call him, entrepreneur, so that, the, that fact alone just uh, makes it easier for me to buy into the project because you could already tell about how much experience he's had where he's going to take this project. So definitely bullish. Um, these, this is like a sneak peek what they're going to look like. I think it's pretty cool. Um, these will be dope profile pictures. I could already see these on Twitter just like uh, <laughs> popping off. So yeah. Uh, those are the three projects that I'm interested in. Um, two of them are early. One of them is kind of like a gamble. You might not get it, but if you do, it's going to be a big flip. Um, and that one I'm talking about is the Let's Walk collection. So if you're able to mint these at 0.3 or 0.7, you're easily flipping them for like a 4 ETH profit. So those are going to be the hardest to get out of the three projects I mentioned. Um, but it's already at a 10x if you can mint it. So obviously that brings a lot of eyeballs to the project and it gets harder and harder to get, but not saying it's impossible. And then we had the possessed. These are gonna do well. There's no info out yet, no discord. So you just gotta keep, keep on the Twitter. Um, and then the last one, humankind art, right? So I'll link all the Twitters down below. And uh, yeah, hope you guys, you know, do your own research on these projects because I'm definitely doing my own research on them. That's why I'm sharing the information with you guys and shedding light on these projects before the masses get them. But yeah, those are the three. Um, and if you like this video, if you want me to keep doing videos about NFTs and upcoming projects that I'm looking at, definitely drop a comment um, and like this video. So I know that I should keep doing it, all right? So yeah, that's pretty much it, folks, for today. And uh, yeah, I don't know when I'll see you again on this channel, but hopefully it's soon. <laughs> Peace.